Rat King is one of the best sidearms in the game, plus it is very easy to get if you've got the right materials. So with Rat King, it is super easy to become invisible and escape your enemies. Plus, if you're in a fire team of Rat King users, then you get increased damage. Well, today I'm going to check out the Rat King in a little bit more detail, how to get it, plus also how to get the Catalyst in Destiny 2. Well, without further delay, let's have a closer look at one of my favourite weapons in Destiny 2. So Rat King is an exotic kinetic sidearm and it has the following perks. So Rat Pack, the fully automatic weapon becomes stronger when nearby allies also have it equipped and that stacks up to six times. And then we've got Vermin, so reloading immediately after a kill grants a brief period of invisibility. Looking at the stats, we've got 49 for impact, 30 for range, 40 for stability, 40 for handling, 40 for reload speed. It's got a 31 for airborne effectiveness. It's 300 rounds per minute with 15 in the magazine. Okay, next up, let's have a look at how to get Rat King in Destiny 2. So you can buy this one from the tower. That is the exotic kiosk. And you can find it next to your vault, and it is called the Monument to Lost Lights. The Rat King is going to cost you one exotic cipher, 100,000 glimmer, 150 legendary shards, and one ascendant shard. So you can get an exotic cipher from the season pass, or you can complete a quest from Zur. He is around from Friday until recent on Tuesday, and I do a guide on Zur's location each week. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss an update. Glimmer can be acquired from pretty much any activity, strikes, gambit, crucible, public events, patrols, etc, etc. And you can also trade in materials with Master Rahul in the tower. Also, Ascendant Shards, they are very, very useful indeed for this purchase. You can get one from Master Rahul in the town. You can dismantle Masterwork, Legendary or Exotic Armor. It's a possible reward for completing Master or Grandmaster Nightfalls. And also, a possible reward for completing Master Raid Encounters. And also, is a Season Pass reward as well. So plenty of ways to get Ascendant Shards. Once you've got all those materials, head back to the Monument to Lost Lights in the town and you can purchase Rat King. Next up, let's have a look at the Rat King Catalyst. So the Catalyst gives an additional perk called Infestation, and that provides three benefits. Improved Aim Assist, Improved Recall Direction, and Triggering Vermin Invisibility now refreshes health. So additional Aim Assist and Recall are good, but it's the Health Regen that is the most useful perk here. If you reload after a kill, then go invisible, then you're going to get your health back. So as well as being difficult to see, you're also going to get back your health, and that is particularly good for hunters, and also helps you improve performance in PvP and PvE. But you may be wondering how to get the Rat King Catalyst. So this one is a random drop from Nightfall Strikes. We don't really know the precise drop rate, but it is pretty rare. Best thing to do is have Rat King either in your inventory or in your vault, and then run Nightfall Strikes, and the Catalyst will drop for you. Well, lastly then, how to level up the Rat King Catalyst. So... Before you can equip the Catalyst, you're going to need to level it up, and you're going to need 1,000 fire team kills with Rat King. That means you're going to need to be in a fire team with someone who has Rat King, and they need to get the kills rather than you. So you can team up with friends or with someone via LFG. Just make sure they are looking to do the same activity. I think the most efficient way to get this done is the Shuro Chi checkpoint in the Last Wish raid. That's because tens of enemies spawn together. You can take them out nice and easily using the Rat King. You know, it is best to stock up on raid banners. You can get these from Hawthorne in the tower. And I'll put the route to the Shurochi location in the Last Wish raid at the end of the guide. So simply follow that, input the code at the wishing wall, and you will be teleported to the farming location. Altars of Sorrow is another good location for farming for Catalyst. You can find that on the moon. Also, the start of the Grasp of Avarice dungeon is another good place. Plus, you've got plenty of lost sectors all over the planets and the moons. Blind Well is another good example which can be found on the Dreaming City. So normally, you'd want to run activities solo so you can maximize the amount of enemies you're killing. However, with Rat King, it's very specific to having fire team kills. So I would say Grasp of Avarice, Altars of Sorrow, Blind Well, or the Shuro Chi checkpoint in the Last Wish Raid. They are all very, very good locations. Most efficient is probably the Shuro Chi checkpoint, but you've probably already got your favorite place to level up catalysts. And the list here are just a few suggestions. Well, that is it for Rat King. It is one of the best weapons in the game, in my opinion. It's great with Void Hunter builds. I rarely leave home without Rat King when I'm on my Hunter. 
Well, that is it for this look at how to get the Rat King in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. Well, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you real soon. You are finally here, Brother Slayer. Spawn Killer. All that strength and you're still nothing but a retainer to the Awoken Queen. You could be so much more. All you need do is wish it. Come. I would quite like to meet you.